Nancy Pelosi's January 6th committee, it wants blood, Trump lovers' blood. This farce of a select committee has now issued subpoenas to all the major social media companies demanding those companies turn over documents and even personal communications between users that Pelosi hopes will prove the Capitol breach was somehow this massive coordinated effort. It is simply another attempt to paint all conservatives as domestic terrorists. But I ask, where was this fervor for information and evidence gathering during the height of the Antifa and Black Lives Matter riots? Didn't Congress want to see what kind of flash mob communications were being sent over social media when the rioters you see on your screen there were planning to loot, burn, and destroy a city near you? Of course Congress didn't want any part of that, not one controlled by the Democrats. If Nancy Pelosi's witch hunters really wanted justice, they would include in their subpoena request for information to how social media companies allowed for the BLM and Antifa rioters to coordinate all of their attacks on our society. A lot more attacks, by the way, than just January 6th. Attacks that played a far greater role in destroying the American way of life than January 6th security breach ever did. So I'll be honest with you, I'm tired of hearing about January 6th as the worst day in American history. Give me a break. Tell that to every shop owner who lost everything in so many cities across the country. There still has never been any real push to go after these leftists. Yet when it comes to the Capitol security breach, this is what we get from federal prosecutors, a swift takedown of grandmas and grandpas across the country. I wanted to ensure, and our office wanted to ensure that there was shock and awe that we could charge as many people as possible before the 20th. And it worked because we saw through media posts that people were afraid to come back to DC because they were like, if we go there, we're gonna get charged. That's really what you want, your government. Instituting shock and awe. There was shock and awe then. I wanna know, was there shock and awe takedown for those involved with, well, this, watch. Now, this, folks, is not January 6th. That's May 31st last year, when Black Lives Matter and Antifa joined together outside the White House to call for President Trump's head, ripping down an American flag and ultimately burning the St. John's Church across the street from the White House. The same goons set fires outside the Washington Monument as well. They vandalized anything in their path. The National Guard had to be called in to protect the White House from the mob, a violent mob that tossed bottles and bricks at those standing guard. Under the left's definition of this so-called insurrection, then wouldn't that most certainly fit the definition? <clears throat> and it happened to be far more destructive than January 6th ever was. Yet Nancy Pelosi doesn't care about any of this. She cares about using a bogus narrative to destroy the reputation of half the country. <clears throat> and let me make an important distinction about the latest, quote, most serious charges that the DOJ handed down yesterday. 11 people charged with seditious conspiracy. Seditious conspiracy is about using words to incite people to rebel against the government. Words. <clears throat> Insurrection is literally using violence against the government. Physical violence. No one has yet to be charged with insurrection, but that's no matter to the sensationalizing media. It's clear that this was a long conspiracy designed to, 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 effectu to, to delay, if not prevent, the transfer of power. Mm. It shows an open probe escalating, not winding down, which is possibly bad news for other insurrectionists and coup plotters yet to be potentially charged. Who would have thought that they would be such beautiful words to hear, seditious conspiracy, because we saw with our own eyes the attempted violent overthrow of the U.S. government. 
violent overthrow. But see, that's not seditious conspiracy. Seditious conspiracy is a conspiracy to incite people with your words. That's what people have been charged with. No one seems to find it interesting but me, apparently, that again, not one security breacher has been charged with insurrection, violence against the government, which then begs the question, if still no one is charged with insurrection, well then, how in the world do you call it that? Grant Stinchfield is on Newsmax every night fighting for the America First agenda.